Welcome back to Let's Play DDO Permadef. Hey, that airship have appeared at a good moment, eh? Nice timing. Uh, Alright, I am finally getting back to playing my solo and uh, making some some videos as I progress this character again. It has been a while since I played, but uh, let's go. Hopefully... The smell of sewage permeates the air around me. Hopefully I remember how to play them. You hear human voices up ahead. I need to check out what my abilities are here, make sure I'm not missing anything. Uh, okay, oh yeah, I remember Caustic Shop was really good on this guy. And important against the champions. Our temperature is pretty strong on low levels, so I feel pretty confident I'm going into the waterworks here. So I feel pretty confident that I can uh, get through uh, the waterworks fine. I may level up before I get to the second half of the waterworks, or I may not. We will have to see. I've been doing... Do everything. Oh, most stuff elite so far. I could do one on hard. So I should be on a good elite streak. Good damage, not amazing damage right now. Ah, because I haven't thrown my uh, buffs yet. I do have the elemental weapons buff. I'll use that once I'm in the quest. is not really a big deal in any of the uh, builds that I play these days. I don't generally build anything where I really care about getting tomes. That's the only thing I use money for on my solos. Other than some potions. And I shouldn't be worrying about breakables in the explorer area either, really. It's just a matter of habits. I'm just checking on the rares as I go through here. My damage looks good in the explorer area here, but it will be much less effective once I'm facing the uh, elite enemies in the waterworks. Alright, time for the quest. There it goes, finally. I must remember to um, set the dog on passive before he runs into the trap at the end. That can be after the first fight here. doing the waterworks on Elite, as I normally do. Or at least I do most parts on Elite. The, uh, the traps in part 3 might be the one part that I don't stay with Elite. Now 
Okay, we didn't blow up the trap. Okay, I'm doing pretty good damage actually. Set my dog on passive in case he charges off. Two. Didn't blow up the box though. Usually the uh, Shaman are a pretty dangerous enemy in the uh, Waterworks quests, uh, but having precise shots and uh, and the range damage on an Artificer means I can just target them from the get-go. almost got me out there. Okay, well that involved a lot of running away, but it was pretty safe. There was one more champion in the in the back. The downside to our tips is I'm not all that survivable if they do get close to me. Once I get flame terrors at higher levels, I'll be much more able to survive some of these uh, larger fights. Chorus of snoring creatures behind the door. Use my dog to block up the doorway there. Nice trip. Well, that worked really nicely. Okay, this is going solidly so far. There are some tougher fights later on though. Yeah, I don't think the key is up here. Which means it's in with the spiders. And this fight does scare me a bit, so... Right, ablative armor. That's what I should be casting. Um, if there's, uh, if the named spider in here is a champion, it's bad news. Right, great.
Breaking all the breakables, of course. Maximizing my uh, my bonuses. And we have the key. Okay. And I should rebirth as well. Time to head over to the other side. So the main place I'm worried about in here is, um, I guess the spider area. Because the spiders have their own. The spiders can web you. But primarily the group of wolves on the, the back side of this uh, tunnel area. Look okay, how wolves merging from the right there. I was kind of aware that that might happen though, and I knew I had plenty of space I could keep packing up there. If the champion chests and the rares, I'm getting a lot of chests in here. Charisma plus two is pretty good actually. I think for this quest the uh, fire resistance is better, but I might switch to that one later. Okay, onwards. Two champions in this group. Okay, this is a big fight. Okay. One did get close enough to hit me there. Okay, I haven't really picked up much useful loot other than the cloak I got just now, despite all of the treasure chests. Okay, now for the dangerous one. So let's think about buffs for this one.
The spike worries me enough that I'm prepared to use some consumables here. There's not a lot that's really useful though. I guess I can throw an eighth potion. I'm basically worried if I get tripped by any of the wolves and there are any champions in the group. So the wolves are hard to spot and they're really the thing that are dangerous here. I also know where I'm retreating to. The champions accept the wolves, but the wolves are still a problem. This is why I really like to have spots on my uh, permadeath characters if I can. Having the wolves just come out of nowhere like that is uh, it's pretty scary. They do good damage and the trip can put you out of action. I, uh, I used up most of my aid, health and all of my ablative armor there, but it wasn't too bad. I managed not to get tripped or surrounded. Okay, the Shaman, of course, is the big danger in this room. And that wasn't very slick of me. Okay. That worked out nicely, though. Considering I have no disable item, I'm doing pretty well with these traps. Artificer is the best class early on for disabling traps because Int is a, it's usually your main stat. I could try in here, but I don't have any need to, really. I'm not using enough spell points that it's uh, that I need them. My buffs ran out again. Okay, time for the spiders. And this is more dangerous, like I said, their web means they can put you out of action. They also do, and they have pretty good melee damage when they get up close. I'm mostly worried about the possibility of the name spider at the end, though. This, uh, doing this with an artificer is much safer than almost any other character type, though. Having such good range damage, good and cheap range damage, is uh, great for these types of enemies. I guess no names today. That makes it nice and safe. Okay, that went very smoothly.
and now just one fight before the exit. Last wave of kobolds there nearly did more damage than all the other kobold fights in the quest, I think. Okay, through to the prison. Okay, there are more named enemies, especially named Shaman. Oh, yes, my dog on attack. And now he's going to go real aggressive. Okay, it looks like no named Shaman, just a basic Shaman. And not a champion, so this should be easy. Puzzled why they removed the two front spikes of this arrangement of traps. There used to be spikes here. And they took them out. I guess they thought the misalignment. The misalignment was quite unusual, having a pattern of spike traps and then two of them not lined up with the others. I, I was used to it, so it didn't bother me, but... It was maybe a bit... Uh, a bit nasty for what is a kind of one of the beginner quests still. Uh, all right, let's deal with the ambush first, as usual. Shaman in the back is the really dangerous one, but it's more a matter of not having those, uh, those kobolds coming up behind you, because some of the fights down here are pretty dangerous. I was about to say Artemisa makes them look easy, but then I didn't uh, spot that Shaman. one reason they are so dangerous. Probably wolves coming. That probably wasn't a good way to play that actually. Not a good way to play that because I was backed up into that dead end corridor when I triggered the wolves. So they might have got me back into a corner there. Uh, I realized that, that was a bad idea, so that's why I moved up to the junction so I could back away. Uh, let's go the other way first.
Oh, nice. I didn't realize I had plus three resistance uh, braces on this character. It's really hard to find resistance items these days, so that's actually a pretty good item for this level. Okay, let's take stock here a moment. Looks like we got lucky. I'm not sure there's any... Uh, well... I'm not sure there's any champions among the main, among the shaman at the back. No, it looks like there's no champions. It should be easy then. Pretty easy. Did walk into a lightning bolt there. Oh yeah, no champions in that whole room. There were a lot of champions in part one today, but not many so far in part two. Uh, fortification armor is good for low levels as well. Okay, uh, just one more section to do of the uh, the eastern wing here. Human voices begging for help from the other side of the door. The prisoner thanks you for freeing him and runs off to safety. That's the other reason I have so many spell points. I've been uh, forgetting that I can heal myself with my uh, repair abilities. Okay, there should be an ambush behind me now. Yes. Once again, the, the wolves are the real pr problem here. Gotta be more than one wolf. I think some of them are further back in the junction there. There might still be one more. It's either three or four of them, I, I think. Okay, just three. I have two shrines here, and I'm not coming back to this part of the quest until it's all over, so I may as well shrine. My defender is taking very, very little damage. I'm pulling most of the aggro, it's such range that the uh, the enemies all come for me and the dog just um, bites them as they run past. Okay, I've still got plenty of ammo.
Didn't have to rebuff. And forwards we go. That fight was me, uh, was my fighter instincts coming through. I was playing that like I would play my monk, uh, which is the main character I'm playing in groups at the moment. Running towards the caster rather than just backing up and shooting them from a long way away. That wasn't the best way to do it, but it worked out okay. Okay, medium load, I should actually start throwing stuff away here. I really do not actually need the money that I'm getting from any of this stuff, so... Wow, my strength is really low. I hadn't realized how bad it was. Um, what's actually heavy here? Okay, back to light load. Um, okay, let's come up to here first and set off the ambush. Nope, 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 abort. Mistakes were made. Okay. Okay, having got my dog under control, that went all right. Um, this fight is always messy, but with an Artificer I can just kill stuff from range, so it's not too much of a problem. Green dungeon alert, it's going to be worse in a moment. Okay. That, uh, that was rough, but it went alright. I was worried I would... I was worried I would get harried while we were at Orange Alert there, with the champion chasing me. That could have gone pretty badly, but I managed to just about stay far enough ahead. The prisoner okay, we have the worst of the champions down, I think, and the shaman. They might all be dead, or there might be one or two left at the end. I 
the dog is taking the long way around. I guess that means it's clear because he didn't uh, get in a fight. Okay. It's a shooting gallery out there. Shaman have a great uh, the Shaman have a great shooting gallery there where they can just happy with lightning bolts from range. You can't easily get out of the field of vision here before the uh, the gates are open. Is always clear. Just cleaning up here, and then I can go drag all this back to the start. I do have the zombies to do as well. Okay. Uh, all this was up top at the back. And there's the, the chest for the, uh, the boss as well. Back to uh, load medium. I will have to just stop picking up the uh, the armor and the armor and some of the weapons that I'm finding. You notice a wooden hat. Beneath the surface of the water. I don't have good weapons against the these enemies, as you hear the low so this might be a bit tricky. Dead. a bit rough. Um, fortunately they're quite slow so I could just back away and circle around them. And I was using caustic shots in there as usual as it does some some good damage. Uh, I'm grab the armor now because I've killed everything. I'm only walking out. Alright.
dashes off towards the surface and safety. Excellent. I made it to level six. That means I can go. I should be able to do the second half of waterworks next time. Uh, let's just quickly check the uh, the rare locations here. Uh, all right that is it for this video i will be back next time probably with the second half of waterworks uh, unless i think of well no next time we'll be leveling up and then after that probably the second half of waterworks uh, all right thanks for watching